guys, hope y'all are well today. My name is AJ and my husky, hey baby, I'm a Siberian Husky Mika. And we travel and explore out of my 2002 Ford Escape. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be doing another do-it-yourself project. Hope you guys ain't nerve wracked by my project's maintenance, but I am vlogging my progress in my life as well as my vehicle. So in order to keep my travels going and my journey going, my overall journey for myself and for my travels, I have to keep the maintenance up on my vehicle. So I'm just gonna make this like a vlog style, like just a normal day in a life vlog of a do-it-yourself maintenance on my vehicle. My channel is not a maintenance auto repair type channel. Again, I am vlogging my progress and my journey that goes with my travels and maintenance is a big part of it. So um, I am going to be changing both my rotors on my front and all four pads for my brakes on my front. So it's a quick and easy job. I think I'm going to run here to Walmart and grab me a C-clamp. So when I have to compress my springs on my brakes back on my calibers, I can compress it safely with the old brake pad so I can put the new pads on. But we're going to run up here to Walmart, grab C-clamps, and I'm gonna grab me some brake cleaner so I can rub the factory grease off of the rotors before I put them on. So we're gonna run up here real quick and I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Mika, mix. Hey, I'll be back in a minute, okay? I'll tell you guys, she ain't been in this cage in a minute. <laughs> she's normally riding around with me, so she's always good. But, uh, Anyway, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back from Walmart. With that being said, we're gonna hop to it, but first and foremost, I wanna go ahead and make the pup make sure the puppies are straight before I start anything because that is the number one priority. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they're straight, get them some food and water, top them off before I head on outside and get started. All right, so the puppies are good. They both got food and water. So now I can start my job. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Go ahead and get this started and try to beat the rain. Yeah, as I was working on my car, my dad went ahead and inspected the rest of my vehicle just to make sure, you know, before I start doing my travels that everything was straight. And he noticed that my rotors were really bad and my brakes were low and my brake light is on. So we're gonna go ahead and nip that in the butt and go on and start that. So let's get started. All right, so I think I got everything to start my project. I got my tire wrench to take my tire off. I got my hammer to gently tap my rotor off. I got these clamps to take my uh, wire caliber thingy off. I'll show you. And I got my two rotors, my brake pads, my brake cleaner. Get it.
my new rotor. You see what I was talking about, how it's flush. There's no gap right here at all. I like that one has that clip. That one don't. So that lets you know that they're really bad. You always want to make sure you just layer, lay them down. You just kind of make sure everything's the proper. Make sure they're the right, they're identical. Always make sure you get the right thing before you start doing the work for it. Okay, so they're all the same. So I'm gonna move this one out the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and slap my new one on. Bam, got it. And I'm gonna take this brake cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the fingerprints that I got off because that's gonna reflect on it and it's gonna cause it to rust. So always clean your rotor because you got dirty hands. So just make sure you get all the fingerprints up and everything before you start putting your new brakes on. C-clamp on to my old brake pad and pushing that spring back in so you can put your brake pads back on. pad is see how thin that pad is that's the difference guys these brakes were really bad and you always want to put clip in side here yeah. all right so once you get your brakes set in here clamped into the circle ring and then you get your other side set there you just put that on this framing on slide that on and go ahead and Piece that bolt back on to hold the caliber with this piece. And then you bolt that back on to the actual system. So that bolt, that bolt, and then this bolt, and this bolt. So four bolts. Then you can just slap your tire back on and tighten your lug nuts back up. You do the exact same thing for the other side. So, but I ain't gonna worry about filming all that because it's the same concept. What's up guys? It's another day in paradise. All right, so it's a beautiful day outside, about 84 degrees. I'm here at my friend's house. Um, I'm actually gonna take my tubs out and redo everything because um, I just recently acquired some groceries and um, some pot and pans that I've recovered um, from storage. And I need to start making space for that as well. So what I'm gonna do is This is my clothes basket. I'm gonna go through and get some, get rid of some more clothes that I don't even wear and make space. And then this is my shoes and my drum pieces. I'm gonna get rid of a couple pairs of shoes and uh, I'm gonna organize my drum section a little bit better. That's all my tools. I got miscellaneous tools laying in the bottom of that case and it's just crazy retarded. So I'm gonna go through all that and fix that a little bit better. And then um, I got my groceries just randomly sitting back here so I can put inside my totes. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna do a little bit of organizing today. And I'm gonna actually bring the tub so I'm not out here in the heat. Uh, she allowed me to uh, come in her home and loan it to me for a couple of days. Actually, I've been staying here because I had to do my brakes and rotors uh, yesterday. So I got that completed. Everything's good. Thank God. So yeah, I'm gonna just bring the tubs in here. And I'm gonna sort all three of them out right here. And we're gonna do some eliminating and making this work a little bit better. And uh, after all this, thank you guys again for bearing with me. I know my last couple of this video and the one before 
was kind of do-it-yourself project maintenance job on my vehicle but that just comes with it that's part of my journey is to better myself and not just myself my baby meeks and my vehicle to make sure they're uh, up to bar as well so that's just a part of it also just to give you a rundown this is my electric drum kit everything is beautifully i have i got these backwards i haven't actually set it up i just kind of put it up but didn't set everything in in position but um you're going to be seeing these babies real soon and this is going to this is going to jump off my uh youtube channel for aj beats be look out for that in the next couple weeks a few weeks and i'm um, also got a, a dw left-handed 9000 double bass pedal but um um ordered i had to order a wire that's bad it's actually to my bass drum right here uh this is the cord right here i just got to replace a new cord i'm waiting on it to come in the mail so you're going to be seeing those babies real soon i'm so excited i've actually just been sitting on everything and procrastinating and not getting anything done with that but I'm glad I ran into this issue because now I can fix it and we can move forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, the box scene and everything, bringing them in. And uh, we're just gonna go through it real quick. <laughs> three totes that was the heaviest because it's all my tools and then i brought this one as well uh this is all my hygiene stuff but i did i'm gonna put that in with my tools once i get that sorted out so that's what we're working with not a little bit not a big project at all um just something that i can feel a little bit more comfortable a little bit more confident and a little bit more organized while we travel the road because we're going on a road trip this weekend i'm excited to hit the road guys so here we go Let's get to organizing. All right, I'm all finished. Here's what I got. All my pots and pans, seasonings, all my dry food, and this is my haircut. I haven't figured out what to do with it, but that's gonna be in there for now. And then my tool carrier. I actually got creative. This box was a 12, in, a 12 pack can box and I cut it up and duct taped it to keep it solid. And I put all my wrenches, flatheads, any type of anything, these things, all that stuff in there. And then all the little loose ratchets, loose little pieces like that, stuff like that are in here. And then the rest of my tools, so all that's done. And then of course my clothes are in there. Everything's sorted through what I need. Um, I still gotta go through this. I'm gonna keep that base just the same, but there's a couple of things I wanna get rid of hygiene wise that I don't even use anymore. So but that's pretty much it. That's all for the organizing just to put it back and then we're good to go. All right guys, so that was the end of that. I just pretty much wanted to show a video on doing my rotors and brakes and also uh, doing some organizing to my layout because it's getting a little bit more where I'm actually developing pots and pans and stuff like that so yeah but uh yeah so everything is good now man all we gotta do is hit the road um, I'm waiting on this these cables for my drums to come in and I'll be able to start my channel but look I really appreciate you guys hopefully we're good on maintenance repairs for a little bit at least everything's good man like my baby sounds good Everything is smooth sailing. Uh, the timing on how everything just fell into my hands and God allowed these problems to occur on my vehicle so I can get them fixed because he was probably letting me know. Um, shout out to Megan, if you're watching this, thank you for all that you've done for me, looking out for me. You're really a good friend of mine. You've gave me a place to rest my head for a few days and just to kind of get my brakes and rotors done and get some organizing done. So I really appreciate you. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video so I can go ahead and edit tonight and get it sent out for you guys but more journeys to come I'm telling you I just had a little small bump in the road that's all no big deal just typical maintenance on your vehicle so that's something that you know you're doing van life or any type of living in your vehicle you have to take you have to take heed to problems that occur to your vehicle and unfortunately i want to vlog it because i think it's a part of my journey and it's a part of uh making my experience better and less stressful so with that said y'all thank y'all so much for the love and support um you're definitely gonna want to like and subscribe to my channel because it's about to get intense we're coming up on the finalizations of getting the van so everything's about to everything's about to get better guys i'm telling you more adventures more fun then we're going to get it all documented so this is just a part of part of me bettering myself and getting what i need and fulfilled out of life for my drums and my travels um, this stuff right here really means a lot to me and you guys that engage in me and watch me and uh, Guys that uh, you don't understand how much it's appreciated. I appreciate Everybody so much. So please hit that like and subscribe button It would mean a lot to me and Meeks. She's inside hanging out. I ain't gonna bother her but Thank you for watching this video guys I Really hope that got something out of it maybe i don't know but i just wanted to record me organizing and just kind of tying it up because i haven't been really getting going on any adventures because my car has been down between the water pump happening and then right after that it was my coal packs and all that stuff and it takes a while to get the money for that so i appreciate you guys being patient it's all uphill from here we're good everything's good I'll start recording this weekend so we can get some time in together and experience a little bit of van life some traveling seeing cool stuff that's what we're after so with that said guys thank you so much i love you and i hope you have a blessed day and until next time next week